Hello and welcome to my channel. If you'd like to know how I designed those bookmarks that you saw on my thumbnail, please stay tuned and I'll show you. My name is Charmaine and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for joining. Today I'm going to show you how to make the book, these bookmarks. The ladies on my group love the group. Um, the ladies on my group, they love these bookmarks and they wanted me to show them how to use, how to um, design them. If you're not familiar with my group, my group is called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket on Facebook. If you'd like to join, please go ahead and um, join, but you have to answer all the questions to become a member, all the questions in the beginning. Like when you um, try to join the, the group, just make sure you answer all the questions. Okay, and I just added some beads on here and a little butterfly charm. This is another one. Flawed and still worthy, and I added a charm and beads. I am worthy. And then one more. Okay. And basically, I do them all the same way. It's just different images and different color backgrounds. But let's get started. First thing you need to do is go ahead and upload. And I'm going to go into my upload images. Into my and then browse. I'm gonna go ahead and get my background first. So let me go to, most of my stuff is on my desktop. So I'm gonna go to desktop and look for my watercolor backgrounds. And I'm going to use the yellow, the, let's see the gold. I don't know why Create Space is going so slow today. Okay, complex. I just do all of mine's complex, even though I don't need to have any, there's no background to this one. I just always do complex, because if you didn't have something with background, you can get it, you can make it transparent with that feature before that. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and push save at the bottom. I got all my watercolors, I, pay, I purchased them on Etsy.com, but you can get them for free. You can download them on free. You can download them from free also by Googling watercolors, splash paint, or whatever. Splatter paint. You can um, Google that and you can get them for download for free. Just make sure it's a PNG. I'm so sorry, but um, Cricket Space, Cricket Design Space has been really going slow today. Okay, now that I have my background, I'm going to go ahead and. Um, upload my image that I'm going to use the face I want to use I'm going to use her click on it and I forgot to mention that I am using um, Cricut Design Space and I'm using my Mac Air my MacBook Air so she's already ready so I push save so I click on it and then I push image insert image Okay, of course, you upload it, but it's way too big, so I'm going to size it up, make my screen a little bit smaller so I can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to unlock it, and then I'm going to make this size, this background, I want it to be, hope you can hear me over the fan in the background. I want this image to be 2.8, let me go up to here on the size, and put 2.8 by 7.6 and then push enter notice now I'm going ahead and upload my other image insert and she's big too so I'm going to go ahead and bring her down I'm just going to just put 5 by 5 just to get her smaller so I can see what I'm doing too big so I'm gonna go get my other image so 
it's already set to upload. It's, it's just it's SVG, so it's a transparent background, so I don't have to worry about doing that, do anything to it. Make this smaller. Okay, so we have our three images. I'm gonna keep her um, lips red, her um, earring yellow. I could change it if I want to, but I'm gonna leave it how it is. Okay, because over here you can change it. If you want to know more about how to change SVGs and all this stuff, I have videos on that also. But right now we're just going to work on this bookmark. So I'm going to size her the way I want it. It's up to you. So I'm not going to really give you the sizes because it's up to you how you want it to be. Well, I, can, I can tell you what size I use, but I'm just saying your bookmark can go be wider if you want it to be. So I'm going to just put this in here so I can make see what size I want this to be. I want her face kind of okay center her in, center her make sure she don't make sure her whole head fits inside the um bookmark you don't want her to come out the bookmark okay then i'm gonna go ahead and size this one let's see put it right here yeah, so that looks perfect to me see how easy that was that's all we have to do is um get the images i have three images on here i have the background which i purchased and then I just uploaded that, uploaded the face, and uploaded the other image. So then I'll go ahead and flatten it. Flatten it right at the bottom. You gotta, you have to flatten it if you're doing a print and cut. So all your images will stay together. If you didn't flatten it, they would not be together. Okay. So let's go ahead and click on make it. And there we have it. So basically what I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to print this out. Then as I print it out, I'm going to cut around the black line so the black line would not show that i'm eliminated that's all that there is to it so after i do all that like i said you could put the you don't have to mirror it because it's not going on the shirt or it's not no heat going to be involved with it so you just go ahead and um, push continue then you send it to your printer and then on this one it doesn't matter if you use the bleed or not so i just leave the bleed on and then i push print all right, so I'm going to go ahead and print this out, and I'll be back um, after I laminate it. And then we can put the beads. I'll show you how to put the beads on there. This is my finished product. I laminated. My lamination machine is not working, so I had to take it to um, Office Depot and laminate them. And I laid them in some more, too. I can show you those. But, um, so I basically used the, the thinnest lamination they have, and then it laminated for me just um double-sided but it just you can double side if you want to like if you want to put the picture on the back you can it's printed double-sided but i just did it this way and the lamination is on both sides okay so here are a few other ones that i laminated also but i'm only gonna do one today the video just to show you how to do the beads on one see how you, that's what it's so easy it's an easy process to go ahead and just upload your images print them out in your printer your regular printer and the printer i have is a hp desk jet 2635 regular printer cheap and then you laminate them Okay, you can get your own lamination machine or you can take it out, take it somewhere and laminate them. My suggestion is to you is to get a discount card. I have a discount card with um, Office Depot. And this only costs, it costs under a dollar to laminate them. So it's not expensive at all. So I don't mind going there and getting stuff done. So I have a, a, a discount card. So let me show you the tools we're going to need to put the beads on. You can choose any beads you want, but I just picked up a couple of beads that I... I made jewelry. I designed jewelry, so I have so many different beads and charms and stuff, a whole lot. So I just went ahead and picked the ones that I wanted to use for this. Um, let me show you again the ones I used for my other ones. I, used the, I just matched the colors with them. But that's for that one right there. Gold and black on this one. Then a charm. And then a blue and red for this one. And then a charm. Okay, so it's up to you how, what size you want. What color you want and how many you want on your on your bookmark i've got these i don't know what they're called but they basically you open them up and they you hold they hold the beads in place i mean so the beads won't fall off the string that i'm going to be using so um i have two of those i'm just gonna put everything on the side i have a charm and it says black is beautiful i'm gonna use that one make sure your charms have a little thing on there so you can hook the um ring on it I'm going to use this because my nails are kind of long, so I'm going to use this to pick up 
my ring. I have a jump ring. These are called jump rings. This is a big one. I'm gonna use to hook hook the um put the hole right here and I'm put put it right here on the bookmark. That's a jump ring. And I also have a smaller jump ring. I'm gonna use to put the um to connect the um charm. Okay. Then I have some beads. It depends on what how, how, what long what string you use. Oh, my nails are so long, so it's gonna be hard to show you this. If the beads I have, but you can choose whatever size. Just make sure the beads fit on the string that you use. What I'm gonna to use today is the mag. It's called Magic Stretchy Cord. You can get this from Michaels, Amazon. I mean, you can get this from Michaels or Hobby Lobby, Joanne Fabric. And I don't know the price of it is under probably about five dollars. So I just cut a piece off the row i just did five inches okay five inches of string so i have all of my stuff there that i'm gonna need i might need more beads but when i'm using this i have this little tray that i got from michael's it basically sit my beads there so they won't roll around on the table and all my materials that i need is right here on this little um tray i love these trays i got like five or six of them like i said i make jewelry i make um pandora bracelets earrings necklaces i have to make all that stuff so, um, alrighty. So, everything I need. First thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this. This is our little weeder thing that we use for, um, Cric with Cricut. I'm going to use this to make, put my hole in there. You could do any, use anything sharp object to use, but I use this because it's really pointy. And we don't really need a big hole because we just basically using the hole just to string this through. And it shouldn't be that big. You can't, y'all wouldn't use the um, hole puncher because it's going to be too big. And the string will go right through it. So, how I make my hole is kind of ghetto but i'm gonna do it how i did it do it <laughs> i got this little crease in my um in my um table and what i do is i just center it <laughs> and i push the hole i make i make it close so the jump ring can go inside of it it's a jump ring so i don't make it that that far down because it won't fit so i put it about right here just enough to, so it won't tear through the cart the, the lamination so i said like i said get a thin type of lamination you don't need no thick just a bookmark so there you go. Poke a hole in there and push it through a little bit so it can have enough room just for the string to go through it. Yeah, I know I'm ghetto, but that's how I do it. <laughs> and the first thing you need to do is take your big, so my nails is gonna get, get me in trouble here. Open it up. Just a little bit, just like that. And you sweep it through here. You close it back. Okay. If you don't want to use your hand to do that, you can also use this. I have a lot of different tools you can use for these. So you just basically open and close it like this. Okay. Open and close it like this. So that's how. And you double knot it so it won't come apart. Nobody shouldn't be really pulling on this real tight, so it shouldn't break. And this really straight. This cord is really strong. I'm gonna show you how I can really pull it and it won't break first i'm gonna make two make a double knot real quick see how i'm pulling it very strong it's good for bracelets and jewelry and necklaces so there you have it you have the string knotted up on here just like so and what i do is take my scissors or my ply i have some pliers jewelry cutters jewelry cutters and i get real close to the knot and cut the extra excess off and there we have it I don't know what happened my vial went out so I'm just gonna talk you through the rest of the video basically what I'm doing now is putting all the beads on the string and now I'm just tying the knot around the jump ring that I connected to the charm so I'm just making sure that's really tight so it won't come apart. My nails is too long, so I have to get the little pliers to stretch it. I'm sorry I'm not in the cam in the camera. I have positioned the camera a little the wrong way. So there it is right there. That's the end result. And then that's the other ones I made also. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my Facebook page, Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. Thanks for watching.